Uh, and what we did is that we created a prototype in one day because speed is, uh, is the essence there, and we use um, uh, uh, ChatFuel. ChatFuel is a tool that anyone, even without coding experience, can use in order to create a real chatbot uh, running on Messenger, Facebook Messenger. And there, the whole thing is about trying to debug uh, on trying to uh, break all the myths around conversation. Uh, can I, as a bank, uh, say a joke? Can I use emojis with senior users? Uh, uh, how long my text should be? Uh, can I talk about sensitive topic? Um, so we put that all together into uh, some scenarios, and then we test that with users. Of course, basically, uh, we realized that, for example, doing a soprano jokes about payment reminder is not okay for a bank. Um, but actually, uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that also the test was done in order to see the boundaries, and so I was not interested in people like you. I was interested in extreme users, uh, below 16 years old and over 65 years old. And by doing that, I found out that, for example, the kids, they don't know what soprano is, so they didn't get the jokes. But for the seniors, they were like, yeah, okay, uh, this is too much. Uh, but anyway, the point was to create the boundaries for the experience that you want to provide. And doing it fast, speed, speed, speed. Samsung style. Um, um, learn fast, run a design sprint, and test again. That's what we did. So now we've learned what we can and cannot do uh, with a chat experience. And here we created the design principles, uh, eight in total. I'm showing you three of them. One is leverage, leverage existing trust. We found out that it was very difficult for a person to start to talk about money issues on this messenger uh, chatbot. It could be a um, cultural issue in the Netherlands, because in some other countries it's a bit different. But people were not feeling comfortable in, in, in for example, answering how much they earn on this kind of stuff uh, with this one. But as soon as you tr transfer this conversation into or behind the uh, ING environment where it's secure, where we are the bank and you can talk to us about your money, then suddenly this is where, okay, people are starting to talk about that. Positive Microsoft Paris is what I was telling you. Uh, like, it's not about just a great concept, it's a sum of many, 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 many little things that add on top of each other, and what you get is a great experience. And the designer of fallback is directly from this cold or insensitive type of uh, uh, application of technology with chatbot today. It's Try, you can actually design mechanism to understand uh, and clarify the intention of the user, even if the intent recognition engine is not able to, uh, to get it. Uh, we did a design sprint, uh, five days focused um, ideation. You know Google Design Sprint is becoming quite popular now, but the thing here, uh, the secret sauce is that in order to make it work in ING and in the Netherlands, we had to modify some of the um, elements in the Design Sprint. If you want to know more, just catch one of us, uh, and then we'll tell you what are the things that we are changing uh, to, to make it uh, work better here. But from this Design Sprint, you are able then to get a new prototype. And this prototype was not anymore about really understanding the boundaries, but this time was much more focused on, in this case, it was about how can a conversation, or how can we create a conversation uh, to talk about sensitive topic, uh, private topic, uh, and what's the uh, breaking uh, uh, line there? And in that case, the scenario was all about pregnancy and creating a saving account for the future kids. So how can you bring this topic when actually it's pretty personal? And in this case, this was, uh, we tested that only with um, a woman. But that was good enough for us to understand the quality of the dialogue we wanted to offer in order to have a conversation with a human touch. Um, with all of that done, okay, now it's the last phase of the design lead, and it's all about uh, creating the guidelines, uh, UI guidelines, uh, and all of that. But first, the way that we structure the scenario for the prototype was all based on the persona. And it may sound old school for some people, but actually for us it's super important because it's realistic journey from learning how to use Inga to, okay, I'm very uh, familiar with Inga, which match, and also when presenting the result in the bank, people can relate to it. So actually, Caroline was not just like, uh, or the demo was not just a technical proof of concept to just show something cool, but it was every single scenario are matching uh, Caroline. The second thing is that um, the work of the UI, we did introduce some nice improvement with the current chat application that you can see with Messenger, Kakao, Line, and all of that. Uh, but the elephant in the room, actually, it's the Excel file here. It's very difficult for us, especially for us, to go into a proper storytelling conversational uh, um, experience because you need to know how to tell a story. You need to be able to talk. It's very different from just writing a static page uh, on, on a website, on a mobile phone. And this is where, remember the point number one, get the right team, 
the content uh, expert, the person that was super good at creating and telling stories, was able to write those kind of dialogues. And those dialogues are warm, those dialogues make sense, those dialogues connect to the people. And that is the difference with a lot of chatbots that you will see today that are actually built by our friends engineers. They are super cold. Um, all right, and so we did the final test. Um, what we did with the test this time is going back to a more general population that will be representative of ING customers. And we were asking, uh, how is your expectation related to what we are going to show you, which is a chatbot? And most of the time, it was pretty mild or even negative. Like People didn't believe that a chatbot could do what they want uh, them to do or uh, could serve them the, want, the, the way they want us to serve them. But fortunately, after the test, it was like total success, really. People were like, wow. Is it live? Can I use it uh, last week? Because actually, uh, it could have helped me, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it was great. But now comes uh, the difficult part. So we did a great uh, prototype. Uh, we have solid results. We tested the things. We really believe in the experience, on the strategy, on the vision that we have for conventional experience. But how do we make it happen? Uh, how do we make things, actually, in this big company? This is about the deployment phase. And the first thing is that keep presenting to different stakeholders. I uh, keep identifying different stakeholders with a clear vision of what you are uh, talking about. Sometimes I see uh, designers, you know, uh, in big companies, there is a big design team, and they are going to make a presentation, their boss is going to smile, check, and that's it, it's done. But actually, it's not done, because you have to continuously hunt for the right person in a big company. So it means that you spend a lot of time continuously talking about your stuff. But if you don't have any wow, you don't have any go. So basically, the X factor, you need to have it there. And the X factor is uh, the things that will enable people to talk about your presentation, to talk about the work done by your team, and will bring people to you. To you. Hey, by the way, uh, there is a team in this country over there that would really like to, uh, to see what you've done. All right, yes, uh, I can present uh, what we did. Uh, no wow, no go. And that's basically uh, a baseline there. But quite in, uh, important, and that's maybe for David if he's, he's here, is uh, to answer some of the questions about like stakeholder management. The thing which is really, really important is uh, a realistic roadmap. Because if you just show the ideal stage of conventional experience with the super supra-intelligent uh, AI, which will happen 2020, 2025, something like that, then uh, the, uh, the, the, the big guys from the board, they're not going to be able to see it. Uh, all right, and uh, deploy fast. I need to be even faster. Uh, basically, um, one month after the end of the project, we were already going live with some learnings from the project, and that is uh, something very important. You're able to try it yourself, and basically, you just want to keep the things hot, and by doing, uh, keeping hot, basically, it's about delivering it to the users. Um, we also have to standardize. And the things that uh, has to be done is basically in ING, we have a central repository of all the graphic UI elements so that people in Australia, ING Australia, ING Germany, they're able to pick up what we want because we don't want to have a crazy amount of uh, schizophrenic experience with chatbot all over the places. We want to have one single experience. So everything that we did is being standardized into the guide so that our colleagues can pick it up. Of course, there is refinement of the avatars. It's not the final one, but we really want to have somebody that uh, represents uh, the value of the ING. Conclusion, uh, conventional UX is all about uh, uh, quality of the dialogue. It's not just about interaction. You can play and you can do some things over there, but really dialogue is key. And it may, it may mean actually hiring new people. Uh, UX roadmap, manage expectation with a credible roadmap. If you're able to show the steps to the vision, you are already there. Uh, prototype, the prototype is super important because if you just show some, some kind of fake mock-up or just a nice slide, then, yeah, okay, that's what I expected from the design team. But if you come and say, hey, this is done with API.ai from Google, it's real, it's working, this is super cool, and people can try it, and you can, uh, you can ask her to tell you some jokes, and they try it, and they laugh, yes, then you win the audience. <laughs>